So today we're going to look at our second rule of trigonometry that we can apply to any triangle, and that's the cosine rule. So just like using the sine rule, we need to label our triangle in the exact same way. So my angles are labelled with uppercase letters, my lengths are labelled with lowercase letters, and opposite angles and sides have the same letter. That's really important, we need to make sure we label our triangle like this every single time. So this is the cosine rule, we need to learn this, and there's two ways of writing it. You only really need to learn one form, as you can rearrange to get the other form. But if you're not confident in your rearranging al algebra, it might be useful to learn both. Only the first one is shown in the formula booklet, and I think it's actually useful if you just learn both of these rules. So let's look at this first example. So we've got an unknown length. So the first thing I want to do is label my triangle. So again, I'm going to label my angles with capital letters and the opposite sides with the lowercase letters. And when you use the cosine rule, the angle that you're given or the angle that's unknown, you will always label with A. So then I can write down the cosine rule. I've got an unknown length. So I'm going to use my, my first form of the cosine rule write that down and then I just replace the letters with the values I have in this specific triangle and solve. So in example two, I've now got an unknown angle. So I'm going to do the exact same method. The first thing I'm going to do is label my triangle. And again, I'm going to label the only angle, which in this case is unknown, as A. Then I can write down the cosine rule. And in this case, I'm going to use the other form of the cosine rule. And I can then replace the letters that I have with the values from the question and so So I hope you found this video useful and you've got some questions to do for your homework. Let me know if you have any problems.